Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits Design 10 layout. So for this layout I started with a 12 by 12 sheet of white paper. My desk is an absolute disaster zone but it's all good when you're in the creating spirit you just work around the mess. And I trimmed it down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half and then I took a piece of the beautiful pattern papers we got in this month's kit and I'm going to use that as a border. I've used this piece of paper, I think in three of my layers. I have definitely squeezed every little bit of um, paper out of this one. Maybe I even used it in all four. Gosh, now I can't remember, but definitely three. <laughs> Um, so I'm matting that there and that's going to be the base of my page. Now this layout, I did create my own cut file, but it is very, very, very inspired by a Paige Evans layout that I saw from a very long time ago, maybe from about 2016. I myself has done this layout back in 2016. Um, it is called Cherish and it is on my own YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing it. Um, it is very different to this one, but it is the same background concept. This is where you take a circle. My circle was one and a half inches. Uh, you could use like even a circle punch and you just kind of fold in just the four edges a little bit so that when you fold them, the circular part like matches up. Um, that is really hard to explain. Basically what I did in my silhouette design studio is I did a 1.5 inch circle and then I think it's a one inch square inside and I used the um, <coughs> setting for the square that it's a dotted line, it's a dashed line so that then when you cut it with your silhouette it's easy to fold but it doesn't actually like completely come apart if that makes sense and I just used three pattern papers three scraps of papers that I had left over from other layouts um the beautiful pink that beautiful blue and then the one that had the circles on one side I cut those out for my bubbly layout and green on the back and I think I did a little bit over 30 of the circles trying to count trying to think in my head and you could see before I put the photo on that I left the whole part underneath the photo blank just to kind of utilize the amount of circles that I had I didn't want to have to cut anymore um I'd already put my machine away I thought I'd be done I could have probably done with a few extra to kind of spread the kind of square or the box a little bit more to the left hand side but I do like the feel of this it is a very um right hand side sort of skewed layout it is not sitting center and it was never going to be sitting center i deliberately put my photos over to the right um and now i'm building up just three sort of main clusters with those nice big floral pieces i thought they were really cute and i'm getting on nearly all the, nearly all the greenery that i have left those large leaves i did find a little bit tricky to use and they just work perfectly with this layout so until this point i had found those large leaves a little bit tricky to use but they worked so amazing on this page the green tied in really really well with the green squares that I'd used also. So that probably helped because the color matched so well. I did find when popping things up on foam, I needed double the amount of foam because of the folded up edges on the circle um, being quite high. I then put the This Day, that is a piece of acetate that came in the collection. I did stick that onto white paper, then cut it out just to help make it pop a little bit more off the page. I didn't want, it was see-through and I didn't want it getting lost on the page. So I really love the look at that. Then I pulled into my stash and got this word love. So love this day. And then I pulled out a little Vicky Booten um arrow from one of her past thicker sheets as well and have that pointing at the photos I just love that little title cluster I think it's really fun I love that there are different fonts I just think it's really cute and you can see in the photos especially the larger photo of Thomas he is playing a cornet um, my dad plays plays the cornet trumpet so on so forth um, I'm trying to think I can't remember in the photo if they've got a trumpet, a cornet, and a bugle, perhaps, um, with the bugle being no keys, like no buttons to press. 
Uh, but or they they might just have two cornets or two trumpets. I'm not sure. The larger photo of Thomas where you can see the instrument more clearly, that is a cornet. It has a shorter um, tube part. So on a trumpet, the part where like the funnel, I guess you'd explain it to a non-musical person, is, uh, is further away. It's on a longer tube, whereas the cornet, it's like a pushed-in trumpet. It's all closer and more compact together. That's my non... Um, technical way of explaining the differences so you would have also seen that I wasn't quite sure where to put that last flower cluster but I really love it down in the bottom left hand corner I think that's really cute then of course some splatters and I finished it up with those beautiful gold little embellishments they're almost like enamel dots but they're golden mirrors and I love them I've put those on every layout as well Thank you so much for following along and watching this process. I had so much fun making it and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye everyone.